congratulations to the James Colville High School graduating class of 2020. You did it! Hi everybody, I'm John Elliott. I work for CBS2 in New York, but of course, live right here in the Caldwells. You know, you will never forget your senior year. Unfortunately, the reason this year has been so memorable is because it's been so difficult. So much loss, loss of family members, loved ones, friends, even your beloved middle school principal, James Brown. So in addition to that, you've lost time, you've lost experiences, prom, spring musical, uh, celebrations for scholarships or sports, or heck, just sports in general. Now we all know that struggle makes us strong and that hard times will make us resilient, but I know that's small consolation right now. So your vice principal, John Bertolo, enlisted newsmakers and shakers from across the country to offer up words of encouragement and hope. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, Caldwell High School, Jeff Eliasoff, along with Adrian Castellano here from WVTM 13 News in Birmingham, Alabama. We send you our best wishes all the way up there in New Jersey. We know this is a, a tough time, but a time to learn, a time to love, a time to explore new ways. Your generation is gonna solve a lot of the problems we're going through now. Adrian, what do you want to say? Well, first off, go Chiefs. Absolutely. You did a great job this year, and there is a bright future ahead of you. Don't let this get you down. So many days ahead of you. Let this be a learning curve. I know you're gonna do great in the future. Keep that eye looking forward. Absolutely, and a special hello to my uh, sister in Hoboken. Not too far from you guys. Congratulations. Hello, James Caldwell High School graduates and hats off. Congratulations. I'm Dave Goldman from KTVA, the CBS affiliate here in Anchorage, Alaska. If 2021 has taught us anything, it's that life doesn't always go to plan. You've seen that firsthand and your class will always stand out for it. But you're also fortunate to have dedicated people there like Mr. Bertolo who care. Remember that and pay it forward. Do your best and what's best. Work hard, but be careful what you wish for too. After all, I grew up near you in East Meadow on Long Island. Never expected to be 4,400 miles from home. Remember that dignity, kindness, and class never go out of style and that nothing is more important than health and family. If you ever make it to Alaska, and I highly recommend it, the door is always open, so come see us here. The last frontier is a long way off, but it's worth the trip. So on behalf of everyone at KTVA, we wish you all the best. The world is waiting for you. Now, go get it. Hi, my name is Lindsay Riley, and I'm a meteorologist at 12 News in Phoenix, Arizona. I grew up in New Jersey and graduated from West Morris Mendham High School. I know your senior year didn't look exactly how you thought it would, but my message to the class of 2020 is to rejoice anyway. Instead of focusing on the problems of 2020, focus on the good. Perhaps the stay-at-home orders gave you more quality time with your family before you head out to college or the workforce. Focus on that. Maybe you got to learn how to cook, or maybe you had more margin in your life where you actually got to rest. Focus on that. Focus on the good and remember when you rejoice when things are bad or tough, that produces endurance and that endurance produces strength and character and that gives us hope. And all of that is good. So congratulations to the class of 2020. I know you are on to great things. Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan from KARK-TV, the NBC affiliate here in Little Rock, Arkansas. You know, the past few months have been certainly an historic challenge to everyone. Of course, it's been so much harder on those that have been directly impacted by the COVID-19 virus, but traditional school memories took a hit as well. Dances, senior proms, even graduation ceremonies have had to take on alternate innovative forms. Even though this whole pandemic may seem overwhelming to you, there is always hope on the horizon. Stay positive, stay engaged, and stay safe from all of us here in the natural state. I'm Edie Lambert at KCRA-TV, sending congratulations from Sacramento, California. The class of 2020 will always be known as the class that has proven its strength and resilience. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a happy and successful future. 
To the class of 2020, congratulations. My name is Jake Eden. I'm a sports anchor in Colorado Springs, Colorado with the NBC affiliate. We'll show you a beautiful Pikes Peak in the background, but that's not important. What is important is you guys, you are graduating this year, unfortunately, under some tough circumstances with COVID-19. I know you will not be able to probably walk across the stage and be able to celebrate with your family in a normal fashion like I have done and your parents and probably siblings have done as well. But know this, anytime there's a setback, there's always a big comeback. And I have a feeling that your generation, your group of graduates will go on to do great things. I'm excited to see what happens in the future and best of luck moving forward. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is Lisette Nunez, a reporter with Fox 61 out of Hartford, Connecticut. I know this is such a strange time to be celebrating. Who would have thought graduating during a pandemic? But nonetheless, this doesn't take away from all the hard work you've been putting the last couple of years. And we will celebrate once this is over and it will be over. We're gonna get through this together. James Caldwell High School. Hi, Rick Jensen from News Talk Radio WDEL. 11.50 a.m., 1017 FM, streaming live at WDEL.com from Wilmington, Delaware. Back in February of 2020, I had no idea this home studio of mine would become a broadcast studio. You had no idea that 2020 was going to end up, well, the way it has for your senior year. I mean, one, five, ten years from now, sure, you'll be meeting so many other 2020 grads and you'll share stories, but look, it's not for me, a guy who is as old as your dad or maybe your dad's older brother, to tell you how to feel or what to expect. If there's any one thing I could instill, it's this. Dreams delayed are not dreams denied. So if you want, Reach out to people who are already doing what you want to do for a living. Seek them out as mentors. Learn all you can right now about what you want to do in the future. Because remember, dreams delayed are not dreams denied. Go for it. Hey there, Caldwell Class of 2020. I'm bringing you greetings from the Sunshine State. My name is Jasmine Stiles and I'm an anchor reporter at ABC Action News in Tampa, Florida. Congratulations on such a big day. I wish I was telling you this in a really nice studio, but I'm live from my living room because, hey, we're in the middle of a pandemic. This is a huge milestone for you guys and we can't wait to see where you go from here. If you're going to college, congrats. Those will be the best four years of your life, I promise. Just don't do anything stupid. If you're heading off to tech school, congratulations on that. You'll probably end up making more money than the kids going to college for the first couple of years, and you'll owe less debt, which is a big plus. And if you're not so sure what you're gonna do after this, that's totally okay. A lot of us didn't have it figured out either when we first got out. It's cool, you got a lot of time. Maybe take a gap year, go travel when all this stuff is back open. Either way, whatever you do, just know that you have done so much already. You've crossed such a major milestone, and we are all so proud of you. We can't wait to see what you do after this. Class of 2020, I work in Georgia now, but I grew up in New Jersey and graduated high school here. I know this isn't the graduation you had in mind, but the decisions that all of you make in your adult lives will be so important to all of our futures. Look out for your friends, look out for your family, and keep that fire to take on the world. Hi, I'm Diane Ako. And I'm Paul Drews from KITV4, the ABC affiliate here in Honolulu, Hawaii. You know, Vice Principal Bertello reached out to my station and said he was doing this project where he has all the newscasters from all 50 states just sending a positive message to the graduating class of James Caldwell High School, graduating seniors of 2020. And I was happy to do it because um, I used to live in Bridgewater, New Jersey. And we want to send out, even though Di spent some time there in New Jersey and now we're stuck with her, we still want to send out our aloha to you there in New Jersey and wish you the best of luck as you start this new chapter in your lives. Yeah, congratulations, graduates. Aloha. Hello there, seniors from James Caldwell High School. My name is Matt Davenport. I'm a news anchor and news director for KPBI-TV in Pocatello, Idaho. And you say, Iowa, Idaho, where? Just 
don't worry about it. Just think potatoes and you'll be just fine. Just like I think New Jersey, I think water ice, but I hear that's kind of a Southern New Jersey thing. Congratulations, seniors, you did it. Now, it may look a little different this year, just like we're dealing with here in Pocatello. Our senior class of Pocatello High School, Go Indians, are dealing with the same thing. But you know what? It doesn't take anything away from what they've accomplished, and it doesn't take away anything from what you accomplished. I want to give you a little quote from one of my favorite philosophers. He said, life is a journey to be experienced, not a problem to be solved. That philosopher, Winnie the Pooh. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go Chiefs. You did it. You deserve it. Hello, James Caldwell High School Senior Class of 2020. My name is Paul Cicchini, and I'm one of the evening anchors at WCIA 3 in Champaign, Illinois. I'm honored to have the opportunity to say a few words to you. I know this spring is far from what any of you imagine. Sports, award ceremonies, musicals, prom, and more canceled. The fact that you're all here and moving on makes you stronger and better for it. Many of you are going to college or community college, the military, or even starting a career. No matter what you do, you all now know adversity. Many of you have faced challenges, but now you all have a shared challenge that will forever bind you and all of us. It's something you'll remember forever, but it won't define you. What you do next in your life will. Good luck to all of you. I know you all worked hard to get where you are today. Don't stop now. To the 2020 graduating seniors of James Caldwell High School, congratulations. I'm meteorologist Kimberly Newman here in South Bend, Indiana. Our first alert weather team wants you to know that you can shower your friends and family with gratitude. They are already so proud of you. You're going to blow them away with what you accomplish next. Rise to this occasion like a hot air mass and weather the storm. You've already been through so much and this next phase in your life. Well, it won't be a breeze, but it is a season of change. We're all already so proud of you from Indiana and beyond. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the graduating seniors at James Caldwell High School. My name is Abby Turpin. I'm an evening anchor and executive producer at KWWL. It's an NBC affiliate in Iowa. I know this has not been the senior year that you were hoping for, but it's how you handle these hurdles in life that will make you very successful. I wish you all the very best and congratulations from the Hawkeye State. Hello all you high school seniors in northern New Jersey. My name is Craig Negrelli. I'm coming to you from windy Wichita, Kansas, where I'm the main anchor at KAKE TV. That's right, we call it cake news here in Kansas. I'm actually a Rutgers graduate from the 1980s. Hey, I know your senior year is ending somewhat in disappointment due to the coronavirus and the widespread COVID-19, and it's been very, very difficult. But please know that we're thinking about you here in the heartland and also know that your best days are ahead. Set your goals, dream big, and start to achieve them, starting with later this year. Much love from 1,400 miles away in Wichita, Kansas. Hello, seniors of James Caldwell High School. My name is one you've heard before, but you've never seen my face. My name is Jim Caldwell, legally James Caldwell. So there, now you know the connection. I am a television meteorologist in Kentucky, a little station called WKYT located in Lexington. Yes, that's why I have a weird accent. You all can't understand anything I'm saying probably because I have this Southern drawl. Well, let me tell you, my Southern drawl had to come home. Just like many of you have not been able to go to school, I had to come home and do weather right here in my own garage. You see <laughs> what a strange world we live in from a big fan blowing to a bunch of coolers and a bunch of other things in this room. I had to come home and do weather here. Very odd place, but I had to do my part to make sure others weren't exposed to me if maybe I was carrying COVID-19. You all are gonna be one of the toughest senior classes ever because you missed out on so much. But let me tell you what, tomorrow is a brighter place and a better place for all of you. Good luck. I want you all to attain everything that you can possibly dream of because you can. Don't let this little setback, and that's all it is, is a setback, set you back for the rest of your life. 
Congratulations, seniors of James Caldwell High School. Hey there, James Caldwell High School. It is Sharice Gibson with WWL-TV, Channel 4 in New Orleans, Louisiana. I know this has to be rough on the class of 2020 as you have to take an untraditional approach to moving on to the next phase of your lives. But know that with change comes growth. You've experienced some heartache with the loss of those not only in some of your families but in your school. But pain doesn't last always. I hope this experience will strengthen and create a bond amongst your classmates that will never break. Congratulations to you all, class of 2020. Though you did not get the ceremony you all deserve, there is still so much to celebrate, including your first step into becoming who you are meant to be. Good luck. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations from up here in Maine at the NBC affiliate. My name is Lee Goldberg. I just want to say congratulations. I know you guys are huge Patriots fans, so, you know, uh, you're, you're probably not. Sorry about the last 20 years. Um, anyway, listen, congratulations. Obviously, you guys have been through something that nobody's been through before, so this will make you stronger moving forward. Best of luck in your future. You made it through this. We'll make it through anything, right? All right, guys, good luck. Congratulations. Congrats. Hey, Caldwell Chiefs class of 2020. I'm Julian Sador, the weeknight anchor here at 47 ABC in Salisbury, Maryland. And I just want to wish you congratulations and best of luck in what comes next. I know this year hasn't been what any of us have pictured, but look at it this way. You all will be the first class to rise from this and prove that nothing can keep the class of 2020 from making their dreams come true. Hi, my name is Dan Roach. I work at WBZ-TV in the city of Boston, and I just want to say congratulations to all you seniors and those of you that are involved with your families as well in graduating from James Caldwell High School. Congratulations. I know it hasn't been easy. This has been the strangest, if not the strangest year you'll ever come across in your lives, but remember, take the positives from it. Take the friends, the relationships, the teachers, all the things that have been good and have come out of this and move forward in your life. Enjoy your next step, whether it be college, whether it be working, whatever you do in your life, go find your passion. At your age, now's the time to do it. You've experienced the bad, the uh, difficult times that have come about, and now there's nothing but positives that lie ahead. So go out, find your passion, find your future, do what you want to do, make the friends you want to make, and you'll enjoy life every step of the way. I've been working and covering Boston sports teams for 30 years now in the city of Boston and have enjoyed every step of the way, went to Syracuse along the way, and have had a blast. And I know you'll find your path too because the best thing you want to do when you wake up every single day is smile and say, I get to do what I want to do today and go out and enjoy it. So congratulations from all of us in Massachusetts. You did it. What's up, James Caldwell, class of 2020? I'm Jason Lewis, and I actually grew up just down the road in Livingston. Now I'm living in mid-Michigan as sports director at ABC 12. I know this isn't how any of you expected your senior year to play out. Times may be tough, but all of you are much tougher. As Michael Jordan once said, always turn a negative situation into a positive one. Enjoy this extra time with your family, better yourself, and cherish the memories you've already created. This isn't the end, but the beginning of an exciting new chapter in each of your lives. Congratulations on graduating high school and best of luck in college or wherever that next journey in life takes you. You did it. And of course, go Chiefs. Hello from Minnesota. I'm Kevin Dorn from 5 Eyewitness News KSTP TV in the Twin Cities of St. Paul and Minneapolis. Congratulations to the seniors at James Caldwell High School. You know, like you, our class of 2020 here in Minnesota is not going to get to experience a traditional commencement ceremony either. But I'm telling you, when you look back, it is not going to define who you are, and this pandemic is going to be hopefully a little blip in a life of great achievements. I'm going to give you some advice my parents gave me years ago. Things work out, and they do. So on behalf of all of us from the state of Minnesota, congratulations to the class of 2020 at James Caldwell High School. Please, I hope you and your families are safe and healthy. Good luck, everyone. Hey, I'm Candace Coleman from WJTV in Jackson, Mississippi. 
Though your senior year took an unexpected turn, you will go down in history as the class of 2020, the class that persevered through all of this craziness. And the bonus part, it'll be one heck of a story to tell your grandchildren. Keep pressing on. I'm Chief Meteorologist Brian Busby in our first alert weather center here at KMBC in Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, quick geography lesson. The metro mostly is on the Missouri side than on the Kansas side. There is a KCK, Kansas City, Kansas, but mostly on the Missouri side. So when you see the Kansas City Royals baseball team with the Kansas City Chiefs football team playing at home, it's on the Missouri side. Okay, anyway, congratulations on making it this far, class of 2020. If you can survive this like the rest of us, you can do anything. Hopefully, if you put your mind to it, you can find the job that makes you just as happy as my job makes me. So once again, congrats. Hats off to class of 2020. Be well. What's up, everyone from James Cardwell High School in New Jersey? This is Dion Broxton from NBC Montana. I know this isn't the way you wanted to finish your senior year, but trust me, keep the faith and I promise things will get better. I know you guys have been hit with some hardships right now, but I promise you, if you just keep the faith, things will work out in the end. Hey class of 2020, my name is Delon Dillard. I'm a reporter and anchor for KETV News Watch 7 in Omaha, Nebraska. I just wanna share a couple quick words of encouragement with you. But first of all, congratulations on graduating. You've done something that is not easy. You've accomplished something that is phenomenal and you've done something that not everybody does. Not everybody graduates. Think about who you're about to become. Think about the doors that you're about to, the, the, the rooms and the doors that you're about to walk through. Think about the opportunities that are about to fall in your lap. Some of you are about to become, all of you, let's be clear, are about to become amazing people in your own way. Think about just the awesome things that you are about to really knock out of the park. Keep this same, you may, you may be frustrated right now, and that's okay, you're supposed to be. Keep this same energy that you have right now and apply this energy to the awesome things that are about to fall in your lap. Rem rem remember and remind yourself about how you felt right now and apply this energy to some things that will really better you in the future. A big congrats to all of you seniors at James Caldwell High School, the class of 2020. My goodness, I'll tell you what, this is a class no one will ever forget. I know it sucks that you don't get that traditional graduation ceremony, but just know whether you're walking across an official stage or not, you did it. You graduated high school. You got through these 12 years, all those tests, all those homework, and you know what? Life is just gonna start getting good for you. I know things are hard right now, but this too shall pass. When it's all over, find your friends, find your classmates, still find a way to celebrate this graduation. And know that whether you're walking across the stage or not, your parents are proud of you, your teachers are proud of you, and all of us here in Nevada, especially Las Vegas, especially Fox 5 are proud of you. A huge congrats, you're gonna go out and do great things. Best of luck, enjoy this moment, it only happens once, bye. Hi everybody, my name is Jamie State and I'm the sports director at WMUR-TV in New Hampshire. Our state motto, live free or die. And we have some famous people. First man in space was Alan Shepard, Adam Sandler, Seth Meyers, they're from New Hampshire. And by the way, I used to live in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey early in, early in my career. Just wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Didn't exactly end how you planned it, no doubt, but you'll always remember it and you're on to bigger and better things. Good luck to you all. I'm Annalisa Clevers, your News 12 New Jersey anchor, and I'm here to wish you the most congratulations on your graduation class of 2020, James Caldwell High School. We are so proud of you. Go forth, be amazing, be positive, be kind, and keep going. 2020, you did it. I'm Krista Gutierrez with KRQ News 13, bringing you this message all the way from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we are beyond proud of you. Over the past 12 plus years, you've tackled late night cramp sessions for finals, mastered meeting deadlines for 500 word essays, but this year, you've learned the answers to some of the biggest questions in life. Between all of the TikTok dances and the Zoom classes, there were many quiet moments while you were at home, and that's when many of you learned who you are and who you want to become and what's most important in your life. And while you will be known as the class who missed milestones like prom, 
It does not and will not define you because this is not the end of your story. Your parents, your siblings, your teachers, your friends, even a complete stranger you may help out years from now will all see parts of your story as it unfolds. So as you head out to this world on your own, I want you to reflect on these questions. What will be your story and who will tell it? Turn the page, class of 2020, and get ready to start writing the next chapter in your life. Hey graduates, my name is Natalie Pascarella. I'm an evening anchor reporter here at NBC4 New York. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know this feeling well because 20 years ago, I was in your shoes. I graduated from high school from my small Ohio town, class of 2000, and the dream was this at the time, working in the Big Apple. That's because I took a high school trip, my junior and senior years to the Big Apple, and I thought, wow, this is where I wanna work. So my advice to you is keep that focus, get that goal in the back of your head. Don't let anybody take it away from you. Dreams can come true with hard work. Two mottos, work hard, be kind. Those are the two mottos I live by, but you gotta have focus. There were things that will throw you off your path. I changed my major a couple times in college, but let me tell you, I always knew that this is where I wanted to be. So I got my internship here. I worked hard for it. Nobody's gonna do it for you. You have to have that focus. Don't give up on your dreams. Work hard and be kind, and your dreams can come true too. So excited for you all. Class of 2020, congratulations. Class of 2020, Caldwell High School, what's up? Yeah! Hey, my name is Duan Hogard. I'm an anchor and a reporter at ABC 11. Eyewitness News, better known as WTVD in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I decided to hop on here, drop some bars on this video for you guys and say congratulations for graduating this year. I know everything isn't exactly how you would have envisioned it, but still, I want you to know this. The diploma's in your hand. It belongs to you. The world is waiting for people like you to go out, be great, and do big things. And I have no doubt that the class of 2020 at Caldwell High School in New Jersey can make it happen. Go Chiefs, go out, be great. Hello there, James Caldwell seniors. Emmeline Ivy here with KFYR TV in Bismarck, North Dakota. Just popping in to let you know that everyone here at my station is very proud of you for sticking in there and finishing strong despite the pandemic and wanted to remind you that we are all in this together. Hello, James Caldwell High School, class of 2020. I'm Yolanda Harris from WBNS 10 TV in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm repping for the Buckeye State. I know this has been a season of extreme sacrifice and my heart really goes out to all of you. But remember, you are the class of 2020. You are strong, you are resilient, and you will remember your senior year for much more than sports, prom, and graduation. You will remember this as the year the world changed and you were asked to make sacrifices for the greater good of your community. It is a tough ask, but you are doing it. It's not fair but you are rising above it. So good luck and congratulations on your accomplishments so far and be ready to become the person you always wanted to be. The world is waiting and watching. From our News 9 studio here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, congratulations to all of you high school graduates from James Caldwell High School. I'm Amanda Taylor. And I'm Kelly Ogilvie. We are proud of you and we're honestly very sorry that you've missed some of your senior milestones that so many of us enjoyed. But let me tell you that what you've gone through over the last couple of months will shape you into the leaders this country is going to need over the next few years and I mean that. The class of 2020 has sacrificed much and it will not be forgotten. You are definitely unstoppable. Congratulations class of 2020. 
Hello, James Caldwell, graduating seniors. My name is Maria Santora. I actually grew up not too far from you guys in East Hanover, New Jersey, and graduated from Hanover Park High School back in 2013. Since then, I went to undergrad in Boston, Massachusetts at Emerson College, moved to Fargo, North Dakota for my first job out of school, and now I'm living in Eugene, Oregon. I work for a television station known as KVAL and KMTR. I'm one of their sports reporters slash anchors, um, and I say all that because I know right now things are not going how you guys had intended or planned, but I just wanted to say that there are so many beautiful adventures ahead of you guys. You have so much to look forward to, and I know that it may not feel like it right now, but truthfully, the best has yet to come. So on behalf of KVAL and KMTR, I just want to wish you guys the best of luck in whatever you guys choose to do next. All right, I'm excited for this. Hello, New Jersey. Hi, my name is Catherine Amenta. I'm morning news anchor at WPXI, the NBC station in Pittsburgh. Jersey girl right here. So I am so excited to be able to talk to you guys today. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at James Caldwell High School. You guys have accomplished so much. You have worked so hard. You have created incredible friendships. And I know this isn't how you plan to end your big senior year and you didn't get the graduation that you maybe were planning on, but you accomplished so much and a pandemic can't take that away from you. So congratulations, better days are ahead. I hear the Jersey Shore just opened back up, so maybe I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for having me be a part of this special day. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello class of 2020, my name is Christina Ernie. I'm the morning meteorologist at WJAR. That's in Providence, Rhode Island. I know these times are so strange and especially for your graduation, it might not be living up to your expectations. But during this time, I think it's a really great idea to look at the positives. Look at the positive side of life. I think so many of us can benefit from looking on the bright side. I know that's my job to look on the bright side, but I think it really not only boosts boosts our own well-being, but it helps the people around us. Plus, during these challenging times, we learn that challenges help us grow. I know for me, personally and professionally, going through life's challenges have taught me so much. They've helped shape me as an adult and moving from a teenager to a young adult and beyond. I've been able to tackle challenges and learn from my mistakes. So in challenging times like this, it's when you really learn who you are as a person and how in the future you'll be able to tackle difficult tasks and of course challenges. We never outgrow that. They'll be happening for the rest of our lives. So it's important to learn now really how to get ahead of tricky situations or at least make it a little easier to get through. A piece of advice I have for you. Be kind. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that so many people can be cruel during this time or maybe not understanding or forgiving to others. It's always important to just give that extra smile, wave or laugh to somebody. You never know how it may completely change their day or make them feel better. You never know what somebody is going through. During this time, we have learned that situations can turn challenging in life very quickly. And you can't always tell who is suffering from those challenges, maybe more so than others. So give that smile, give a wave and always find some time to bring light to other people's lives. It'll also enrich your own. Happy graduation again, and I wish you all the best. And from this meteorologist to all of you, always look at the bright side of life. Hey class of 2020 at James Caldwell High School, congratulations. Victoria Carmen coming to you from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm the evening news anchor at Fox Carolina. And yes, times are strange. I just got done with a newscast here in my living room. I've been doing it for more than two months. It is kind of nice though, because I do get to wear sweatpants sometimes. Don't tell anyone about that. But I know this is not how you pictured your graduation. We gotta focus on the good, focus on the positive. This is something that you will all remember. Um, could probably laugh about it down the road, but it will certainly set you apart from all the rest. So I want to share with you a few words of wisdom uh, that I have learned over the years. The first is 
don't be afraid to try something new or stepping out of your comfort zone. You never know what you may find. Be kind to everyone. You don't know what that person may be going through. And have faith in yourself, in others, and in the future. So again, a big congratulations to each and every one of you. I'm excited for you, I'm proud of you, and the best is yet to come. Hello, West Caldwell, New Jersey, class of 2020. My name is Eric Green, born in Newark, lived in Elizabeth, lived in Springfield, and lived in Wachung. I'm a graduate of Gill St. Bernard School out in the Far Hills area. Anyway, I'm right now an anchorman at the NBC affiliate in Rapid City, South Dakota. Rapid City is where the Badlands are, Mount Rushmore is located, and the Black Hills, the gorgeous Black Hills. If you ever get a chance to come out here, I would recommend it. Anyway, I know this has been a very unusual and very difficult senior year. Uh, not what you were expecting whatsoever, but I wish you all the best. Just know there's a, probably a great lesson to be learned from this, and that is, you know, you got to play the ball where it lies. You have to adjust to your surroundings. You have to adjust to circumstances. Adjust is a word our weatherman has uh, drilled into my head. I'm not always good at it myself, but now I preach it. So uh, I wish you all the best in your futures. There will be a future, and it will be grand when can't say. Nobody knows that right now. But just happy graduation, happy summer, and uh, best of luck to all of my fellow New Jerseyans. Hi guys, it's Alex Zenis with News 2 here in Nashville, Tennessee. My most recent job was in New York City and I actually lived in New Jersey, so I know just how strong you guys really are. You may think people aren't thinking about the class of 2020. Oh, but you would be wrong. I think that you will go down in history as a class that has endured so much and overcome. I cannot wait to see what you contribute to the world. Enjoy yourselves, stay safe, but more importantly, congratulations class of 2020. Hi, I'm Sophia Ojeda with KPRC Channel 2 News in Houston, Texas. I wanna give a shout out to the senior class of James Caldwell High School in New Jersey. I just wanna say right off the bat, you guys are close to my heart because I grew up in South Jersey and my family and friends are still there. So I'm sending you love right off the bat. And I know that this has been a really hard time for a lot of you. You guys have had um, special ceremonies and events canceled and I know it's been tough, but I also know that the class of 2020, you guys are resilient this time you may not feel like it now, but it's gonna make you tough, it's gonna to make you savvy, and you are gonna to continue to shine on through. So I'm here to tell you to keep going, you're doing great, and a big shout out from Houston, Texas. Congratulations, class of 2020, you did it. Graduates, it is Morgan Saxton coming to you live from my car in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is essentially our new normal and how we operate now due to the pandemic. I know we've all made adjustments, but you seniors have been among the hardest hit. I can't say I know exactly how you're feeling, although I do look like I'm a senior myself. My brother is a senior at my alma mater, so based on his concerns and his feelings right now, I kind of know what you're going through. And these are some tough times and I know that you'll make it out of this. And I just wanna send all my love and support to you and let you know that we are wishing you well from Utah to New Jersey. Best of luck seniors, congratulations. Hi, James Caldwell, high school class of 2020. Marshall Kramsky here from NBC5 in Burlington, Vermont. I'm actually a Jersey kid myself. I know this is not how you imagined your senior year to be wrapping up, but your class is bound to do amazing things, and the memories you've created the last four years will last a lifetime. As you take that next step, just remember, if you can get through this, you can get through anything. Congratulations to all of you, and go Chiefs! Greetings and congratulations from Richmond, Virginia. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. And I'm Candace Burns. We are the evening anchors at CVS 6 News. Mr. Bartolo told us about how hard it's been for you all since you don't have a proper graduation, you didn't have a prom, senior night, etc. 
We're here to tell you this will end someday. And I know you've heard you're going to get through this, but you will. And then just think how easy, how much easier it'll be to deal with any kind of adversity going forward. So reach out and make those connections now among your classmates, among your teachers and administrators. Yeah, keep your heads up. Stay positive. We are rooting for you. Congratulations. Congratulations and go Chiefs. Hey there, seniors of Caldwell High. It's Matthew Smith from Cairo 7 in Seattle, Washington. And I know, times are difficult. It doesn't take me to tell you that. We all have had our worlds upended, and I understand you guys have dealt with some very significant blows to your school and your friends. I want to let you know that while times are tough now, sometimes the hardest things in life breed the best things in life. And I know, that sounds terrible right now because nobody wants to deal with the things that we're seeing unfold before us. But I want to assure you that brighter days are ahead. Things will get better. Things are going to look up. And many of you are going to rise to the challenge in ways that you can't even imagine right now. I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope your families are as well. Stay strong and hang in there. We're all going to get through this. Hello, James Caldwell High School Seniors. My name is Rob Macko. I'm with WOWK-TV in Charleston, West Virginia. And I'm Rob's co-anchor, Jennifer Abney, and we just want to say congratulations to you seniors. We know this has been a very difficult year for many of you, like many of our seniors here in the Mountain State, but we know that this is going to be an opportunity for you all to be one of the strongest generations we've seen in quite some time. Yeah, one thing's for sure, we're never going to forget 2020, and we just want to wish you the best and uh, thanks for including us in this piece. And we hope you have a wonderful summer. Good luck, everyone, from the Mountain State. Hi, my name's Amelia Jones. I'm a reporter at NBC 15 in Wisconsin, and I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you on graduating from high school. The next chapter of your life that you are about to embark on is such an exciting time. It's full of growth, learning, and discovering your passion. I hope that when you all find that passion that you go at it with 110%. I hope that you're tenacious, ambitious, and I hope that you're not afraid to dream big. When someone tells you that you can't do something, I hope you find the strength in yourself to look them in the eye and say, watch me. Never settle for less than you deserve. This is your journey. This is your time. So go out there and take it. I know you all have bright futures ahead of you. Congratulations again. My name is Rachel Sauer and I'm a reporter for Wyoming's K2 News. Dear senior class of 2020, you guys came into the world right after 9-11, so you've had to deal with tragedy and learn resilience your entire lives. I know this is going to make you even more resilient and you're going to come out the other side so much stronger. The coronavirus has taken a lot away, but don't let it take this special moment from you. You deserve to be celebrated and you will be celebrated. Congratulations, you made it, class of 2020. Congratulations to the graduating class of James Caldwell High School. My name is Bree Season. I'm a journalist working in Virginia, not far from the birthplace of James Caldwell. And as it turns out, thanks to you guys, I've learned that my own ancestry traces back to the fighting parson of the revolution. There has never been a time, perhaps since the American Revolution, when our country needed the class of 2020 more than we do right now. In times like this, our country has always and will always turn to our young adults to lift us out of a crisis. We need your talents, your ideas, your energy, your compassion. Each of you has unique gifts to contribute to the world, and the 50 journalists you've just heard from will be rooting for all 184 of you. We are so excited to see how you change the world. Go get them, Chiefs.